What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the garage. It's beautiful. Um, I'm starting a series of how to control bugs, insects, um, outside the home, in the lawn, in the landscapes, and everything else. If you go back on the channel, you'll see I did one that was covering uh, the pests, perimeter pests on your house. We use Ortho Home Defense, which is available at Ace. Um, and we treated the, the window sills, the window frames, the door frames. We did that inside or outside the house in that video, but I also did it inside. So, <coughs> excuse me, the more I got into it, um, the more I realized after that video, maybe I'll do a little series because I do a decent amount of insect control. I do about three treatments um, this time of year around the house. So the first treatment that I did was the ortho home defense. The second treatment is what we're going to talk about today. And that is for uh, treating bugs, insects in the yard. Spiders, ticks, fleas, mosquitoes, uh, gnats, ants, bill bugs, uh, centipedes, Anything that is a, a pest in, in your lawn, uh, and mosquitoes like to lay um, their eggs in bodies of water, uh, standing water, and it doesn't even have to be, it could be a kiddie pool with water in it, it could be a tire with water and it, it could be a bird bath, it could be, there's there's been mosquitoes that have laid thousands of eggs in like uh, the smallest cap off of a spray paint can or something that accumulated some water, so... Uh, mosquitoes are interesting and that's a whole different topic. I'm a registered uh, spray technician in my state and I've learned a lot about insects. Um, most of my spraying I do is weeds, but I also am able to spray for insects So, um, with the licensing that I have. So I've learned quite a bit about mosquitoes and it's kind of scary. So, But the reason I'm talking about them is the product I'm going to showcase. You can spray everything in your yard. Well, not everything. You always want to read the label. Label is the law, but you can spray it on ornamentals and grass, and it's going to um, hit the leaves. So during the daytime, mosquitoes hang out, certain mosquitoes hang out underneath the leaves of plants um, in your landscape, trees, bushes, all that kind of stuff. So the product I'm gonna show you today is easy to get over the counter. It's a consumer product. It's nothing that you have to worry about um, having a license for or anything to buy. So let's get into what I have on the workbench today, and I'll show you a little bit about it and then we'll show you how we're gonna spray with it this morning so uh, I'll show you what I got all right so two different containers both contain the same uh, pardon the workbench every workbench in America is messy so it's whatever um, both products contain the same stuff this was last year's packaging this was this year's packaging I usually pick up two of these just to have on hand you know, um, the first thing about these products is you want to look for all the big sort of action words that jump out at you and tell you exactly what it's going to do. So the brand is Cutter, not sponsored. So I'm just telling you right now that I've, this is what I've used because it works. Um, backyard bug control. So it's going to tell you right then and there what it does. Let's just focus on one of these so we're not as confused. Um, if you look closely, you'll see that little plus sign or cross next to 12 weeks. You always want to read the fine print and find where it covers that, which is right there. And it says, for house crickets, carpenter ants, harvester ants, lady beetles, and earwigs, see inside booklet for complete panel list. So that tells you right now that it's gonna last 12 weeks for those targeted pests. So this, this takes care of many different types of pests in the yard. And a little bit about the bottle. This is a hose end type sprayer. So you're gonna hook your garden hose to here, you're gonna open the trigger and you're gonna go. So you know that it'll cover 5,000 square feet. So as the water comes in, it's going to mix with the concentrate. It's got a handy little sight glass so you can see in there. You always want to read your label right off the bat. And it'll tell you the quick sort of things that you need to see. Um, and it'll say right here, kills grub ants, fleas, shin bugs, mosquitoes, sod, webworms, aphids, beetles, white flies, mites, deer ticks, Japanese beetles, earthworm, grain flies, fire ants, others, and insects. So it's going to tell you quick things, and it'll cover many, many more that they'll show you inside. So what it does, where to use, lawns, landscapes, and outdoor surfaces. 
that's big outdoor surfaces. That means you could treat your foundation of your house. You could spray your porch. You could spray around your windows. The same thing I did with the ortho home defense. Um, and then it'll tell you that this 32 ounce bottle will cover 5,000 square feet for surface insects surface. So mosquitoes, fleas, ticks. If you want to control grubs, there's a different mix of it inside this panel. And so it'll tell you, I'm not going to read you the whole label. I'm just showing you what to look for. Just because it shows it controls grubs or fleas and ticks and mosquitoes. And it'll tell you right here on the back that it kills grub worms. That doesn't always mean that it's just that simple. So I'm going to read a little bit further and show you guys. Today, I'm going to be tar targeting surface insects. So when I was doing yard work, I noticed there was some spider webs in the lawn. There's some gnats flying around. Um, no anthills or anything like that, but it, they exist. So I'm going to target the surface insects. And it says ants, army worms, cockroaches, crickets, cutworms, earwigs, fleas, ladybugs, etc. And the different moths, which could include sod webworm. So mosquitoes, the, the common pests. It says use one quart to treat 5,120 square feet of lawn. Thoroughly wet down the grass a few hours before applying. I didn't do that because it was dewy this morning, so it'll be fine. Um, there's no temperature restrictions that I'm finding in here. And if you want to treat grubs, it's going to tell you that's under the thatch infesting insects or underground insects. And for that, you can use one quart to treat 2,500 square feet. Okay, so this whole bottle is a quart. So normally, this would treat 5,000 square feet. Well, if you want to kill grubs, you need to go down heavier, which would be this whole bottle for 2,500 square feet. I'm not going to target grubs with this, but the reason you need to do more is because it takes more to kill them. So the active ingredient in this is lambda cyhalothrin, which is 0.16% of what's in this bottle is lambda cyhalothrin. And what is lam lambda cyhalothrin, you may ask? Well... It is a chemical that targets the, the pest and kills via compromising its central nervous system. So layman's terms, it paralyzes them. Crazy, gnarly stuff, but so it'll target their central nervous system and it will um, paralyze them and then they're going to be dead. So you, they, the one thing is too, when you put this down, you do not want to water it in. You want to shake it really, really well, um, and then you want to just let it rip, um, but you want to let it dry when you put it in. So um, delay additional watering or mowing for 24 hours after the application. So I watered yesterday and I mowed yesterday, so I don't need to do any of that today. So I'll quit flapping my gums. We're going to shake this up really, really well. I'm going to go get my uh, bigger tripod and my lav mic and hook that onto myself and I'll go spray at least part of the yard and I'll show you the basics of how to do it and kind of watch your gauge as it's going. And, and my front yard is like 3,000 square feet. So I know I'm not gonna use this whole container because it uses, it'll cover 5,000 square feet. So I'm probably gonna spray it down to somewhere about there. Um, I'll, I'll do the math and figure it out and show you guys. But uh, I'm gonna use, this was stuff I had from last year this stuff is good if you don't let it freeze. So my garage is heated, so nothing ever freezes in here. So I'm going to utilize this first and save this. And the reason I got to is because my yard between back and front is bigger than what this covers. So I always have a little bit left over. Uh, and then after we finish this, the next video that you'll probably see is going to be a tip on how to treat your rose bushes for the year. That's a little teaser. And I'll have one more item that can pertain to roses uh, that I'm going to cover in another video and you will be able to see what it is i'm not going to tell you i'm just going to tease you with it so i'll see you guys in the lawn in a second all right so we're back there's a little tab that you got to pull out of there in order to make it work <clears throat> and then i've already shaken it you want to work <laughs> excuse me away from your um, furthest point from your spigot and work back towards it. So I'm going to start in this farthest part of the yard and work my way back and it's going to burp and it's going to fart and make all sorts of noise. You just want to 
hit everything that you can with the spray in a nice even pattern and as you're going you want to make sure oh there's death happening right now I just hit a moth these sounds are normal proper hose management you want to hold your slack in one hand and spray with the other nice even applications and this whole part of the yard's done I'm gonna move the hose and move the camera so you all can see I'm a one-man film guy so cut me some slack and the whole time that you're spraying you want to be mindful of your um, contents left in your container so you know if you're over or under applying so now I'm going to move on to this part of the yard. Same principle. Nice, even coverage. And this is good because sometimes you get ant hills and other items uh, that you don't want in the yard. So, and you want to play the wind so you're not spraying yourself in the face. All right, now we'll move over here, and I'll take you with me. Hopefully the audio is good. I don't use these lav mics very often because I don't always need them. Hey, I'm trying to shoot a video. Stay away. Hold on. Poor hose management taking place. So this is around the time you want to do this. Ideally, a little earlier would be best. Ooh, there's two hummingbirds fighting over my feeder. Ideally, a little earlier would be best because you their label recommends you get them before they're like active and super strong. But better late than never. And if you treat your perennials and stuff, That'll get rid of those mosquitoes. And bugs in the lawn can sometimes equate to bugs in the house. So it's good to get rid of everything that's in the lawn. Because A, if you're sitting in the lawn and enjoying the weather, you don't want to be getting eaten alive by gnats. And I have a lot of chiggers, or some people call them noceums in my area, which is not good. I won't show myself spraying all this because it's really not needed, but you get the gist. So you want to do this. Um, while the lawn has pests in it, um, and then you should notice a considerable difference in the mosquitoes and the gnats. And I had noticed some spider webbing throughout here. I have this juniper here, which it's dead right here because I planted a sweet potato vine in here last year, and it grew all the way down into there, and it killed it, so... <laughs> My wife hates this stuff anyway, so she might be happy with that. But I noticed some spider webs in here, and there was even spider webs in the grass yesterday. So just remember to follow the label, and don't be afraid to spray your insects. Spray is always better than a granular for flying insects, mosquitoes, and, well, even ants and things. So you want to use your granulars 
for your grubs. And we'll do a video on that as well. So thank you for subscribing. My subscriber numbers are climbing. You guys are making the dream a reality for me. Um, thanks for following along. And if you have any questions or content you want me to cover, leave them down in the comments and smash that subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when I post. And uh, just keep, keep, keep it coming. And remember, do something in the lawn, even if it's wrong, and we'll see you.